Hello guys, my name is TKH and welcome to F2B Infinity Light. Last episode we prepared this CESU. We are getting powered. It doesn't look like it's connected, but it is connected. So we're getting power from the generator. We are producing ethanol, bio, uh, biomass, lots of good stuff. Uh, apparently I forgot to attach this one. So this episode we will uh, make some good use of that EU. I will, for some time, I have been in need of a jetpack. I really want to get one. And then there's a dark, what's it called? Is it this one? Oh right, yeah. Um, so you can use this and attach it to different things. So if we take a look at the jetpack, Let's see, this electric one, I will not go for the biogas. So the electric one, you can attach it to various types of armor. So you can have an attachment plate and then, I don't know if it works with every piece of armor in the game. Uh, right now I am using obsidian chest plate, so perhaps it works with this one and then I can fly around. We'll see. So that's the goal for today. I Sometimes it's really convenient to have a flight. So let's get started. I, the plan is to have set up some IC2 machines downstairs, just below this floor. And that's where I will put the, the automated ones. And then I'll have some machines up here as well, perhaps on this side for manual use and then downstairs where I have patterns and stuff. All right, sounds like a good plan, at least to me. So let's get started. So let's begin with changing things around. Um, it's not what I want. Like this, I think. Then it aims downwards. And then we can attach. Now on the other hand, let's put it this way and then put a low voltage transformer right here. And this should be the low side and this is the high side so that means it should be placed like this um, can we i don't want to break it so can we use a wrench perhaps perhaps an electric wrench to pick it up So that's the power unit and the wrench and this gives us the electric wrench and we can charge it inside the CESU, right? Yep, works fine. At least in the old days this was pretty much needed unless you wanted to have a risk of breaking things. But um, this should work well. 
and I can, instead of repairing it, I can just recharge it or rebuilding it. All right, so here we have step up fixed input 128 and output 32. So that's what we want. So now if we take this down here, we can connect it to things and it will not break. So that sounds good. So metal former is placed. This is a very important part of this. We'll, I will have two of them actually. So perhaps we'll just draw a cable from up here. That's, I think that's right. So now we can make our patterns to, all right. This one has power and it's extruding. This is for if you want to roll, cut or extrude. So let's set this up. So one pattern for the copper cable and then we want So tin plates gives three and ingot gives three, all right. And then one for that one. And <clears throat> they are in the wire uh, setup, so to say. In this extruding mode. And then we'll just place these in here and go and set a recipe for copper cables. Yep, this one. So now even though we have none, <clears throat> we should be able to craft these and press start and then quickly go down and watch the magic happen. See, this is perfect. We're getting copper cables, everything is done. Except for the part that we're not getting it into the system again. And I will use Ender, let's see, conduits, item conduits, and an import bus. I prepared most of that before. Or did I? Destruction core. We need one of those and then we'll have our importer like that. Importer, great. And while you weren't looking, I actually made one more metal former to place here. And then we'll have another crafter. Not like that. Like that, I think. Yeah, right. So now let's place these ones here beneath. And that was perhaps not the perfect place because I can't really reach. And these are set to out and they will be... A th I, I don't know. I'll place a chest first and then we'll perhaps need to change this later and I wouldn't when I did this in a2 a2 then I could uh, just set an auto ejector in this one to get into the crafter but it doesn't seem like it's working so I, I don't know but we can place it uh, anywhere I think so let's Let's do it here. So this is the insert. And these are the extract active without signal. Active without signal. I should get copper cables into here and then simply import from here. 
back to the system. Perfect. So we have the setup up and running and this one we need power as well. Like that. Eventually I will not need this transformer. I can upgrade these with the transformer upgrades here. So we can run them faster and um, that requires more power. So this one will be in rolling mode to make all these plates. Yep. So if we place some iron in here, it will run, it will roll and we'll get some iron plates going here and then going here and then went up to the top. Perfect! Okay, that should be exactly what we need, so um, we can make one uh, advanced circuit. We have available stuff, so this will be quickly done. And we need to make batteries, three of these. And we need rubber. Three of these. This one needs to be... Uh, produced process down in the, in the basement and while we do that iron casings four of these we have to wait I guess yeah so as you can see down here it's not very fast right now but this will have to live with this for quite some time It's not a problem for us, it just takes time and then, but in the future it will definitely not be a problem. And with three batteries we can make a bat box. This one. And with a bat box and everything we can make the jetpack. So with jetpack alone we can still fly. We will land very harsh. This is wonderful. We're still pretty low on Weird, I could not make it attach again. I have no idea why and now I lost all the <laughs> all the ethanol I had inside. Uh, extremely annoying. But that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, let's, let's see. Active without signal and connect these. So let's make it run again and we'll refill this. So 10 buckets of ethanol wasted. I don't want to do that again, so please stay connected. I have no idea. I, I wasn't able to. It worked in creative mode in, in my uh, test world. Oh well. But with the system up and running, and now we can easily expand it with more recipes and more machines. So um, let me get to that and I'll be right back.
and with this final piece that I forgot some time ago, <laughs> I can start to make the carbon plates and advanced alloy that I will need for the jetpack. So if we take a look here, this is the attachment plate. We'll need carbon plates, advanced alloy, steel plate, and iridium shard. Well, perhaps you thought that I didn't have any iridium production, or but it actually turns out that I had a few in my uh, in my system. I don't know where they came from. Probably a chest because the iridium ones, dungeon chests. Yeah, I must have been in some uh, mine shaft or dungeon that I stumble upon. I actually didn't know. <laughs> but uh, the good part is that I did have them. Not that many. I have five more. So, uh, great. Attachment plate. Hmm, I wonder if I, if we can repair these. If I should make a new one. They're not that expensive to make if you're using this uh, recipe. So I decided to make one more. And one new, I mean. Because one diamond will give me eight of these refined obsidian dust. If I, uh, if I run it in the enrichment chamber first, one diamond, and then put it into here, I can make eight and then let's see which one is osmium compressor yeah this one so one diamond and some obsidian and some osmium will give me one brand new obsidian chest plate i think that's kind of worth it especially when i'm using this one since these ones this one would require iridium and it's not that common and with the last one, we can finalize this. Perhaps it's the end of the episode. Chest plate. Electric jetpack attached. So I guess it will break eventually, but... I should just have some glider wings as well because then I can like there's no risk of uh, falling down and uh, getting unnecessary damage right perfect this will make things so much easier uh, especially with working with windmills and, uh, and everything mob mobs I mean escaping from mobs <laughs> Yep, yeah, I think that's pretty much what we have time to do this this time. Haven't decided next time what to do, but well, well, I guess we'll see. Take care and bye-bye.